so we're back in the shop with Joe. I'm Marcus. And uh, today we're going to be swapping out the original controller. This is one of the first Maxes that came to the States back when we were still using the original controllers. We're going to be swapping it out for the new controller that has Bluetooth capabilities and some other upgrades. In order to do this, it's going to also require that we replace the optical sensor circuit boards in the front and the rear. So basically we're going to go through and show you how to do all that. Okay, so we're going to be starting by separating all these wires and clips. And uh, once you get the clips all removed, then it's just uh, four simple screws on the back here, and these are 5.5 millimeter nuts, and the whole motherboard will come right off of that back plate. And then once you're sure you have all your clips removed, the last one to remove is power. Not the one I'm pulling right now, but these two right here. And that's going to be a T connector. Okay. And then an important thing to remember with this is with these motherboards, there's capacitors on them. So once you remove this from power, you want to uh, discharge those capacitors and make sure it's not going to spark on anything. Something rubber handled and then metal. A little scary at first, but you want to make sure you drain all the power out of this motherboard because if this sparks on some of your other components in here, it can cause a lot of issues. And that is out. So I found this is a really easy way to set it up. Clamp it and then you can lean. And then take your wrench. So again, five, five and a half millimeter. Get it on there. And then you, have an, you can just press against the back with the screwdriver. And that chart you can find it by the way on my other video that I made for the magwheel controller repair. It actually shows you how to install this and I'll, so I'll leave that up to that one and we'll just get to this one. Alright so for the main motor power wires here we've kind of made a little spacer to keep these separated. This will keep these wires from ever touching or connecting and also keeps them spaced for when there's high loads of power running through there they're never going to arc or interfere with each other. Uh, before installing the screws to hold the motherboard in place, we're going to put a little bit of silicone on each screw hole just for a little bit of extra water resistance. Whoops. So these ones are a lot easier to attach back to the plate. They've just got four threaded holes here on the bottom. You just line it up and we'll screw them in. In addition to the new motherboard and controller, these original Maxes also had this prototype plastic bottom plate. And honestly, these things are super flimsy. I've had multiple crack on me. I fought tooth and nail to get these new aluminum composite ones. And these ones are super sturdy. I beat on one with a hammer. Uh, they, they're non-conductive and they're super lightweight. And these are amazing protection for the battery. And such an upgrade from this. So we're going to swap this over to this as well. Now that we have replaced the controller and the battery plate, what we're going to do now is take off these top two and add in our Bluetooth and our new front and rear sensor. So we've swapped out this motherboard, which is the original style, for one of the new style ones. It's compatible with the new controllers. Uh, one of the things about these is that there's a lot of components on it, and most of that has been consolidated into the new controller. Alright, so we've got the new motherboard hooked up, new front sensor. Next step is going to be connecting the Bluetooth, which actually goes up here in the nopes piece. We've uh, removed all the screws, about to tap that out. The only thing left after that is going to be hooking up power. Then we're going to do the rear sensor. We're going to replace the rear sensor as well. So this is our Bluetooth unit. Uh, we threaded it through here, right there. Going to come through and clip to right here. And this actually just slides in right in the same groove as the LEDs. Okay, as you can see, we just swapped the sensor board. There we go. And now I am just siliconing it up. 
making sure you get a nice good water sealant going. All right, so we replaced all the main components in here, including the motherboard, both rear sensors, and added the Bluetooth unit. We've also siliconed it all up. Now, because this is a new controller, it has to actually learn the hub. So you, the way you do that is by holding both, both pads, one sensor on either, and then holding the power button. It'll be batcha, you let go. And then it'll do its own relay. Take two. Back here. Oh. Right, we found the problem with why this board wasn't activating. After checking multiple sensors and checking continuity and everything, we discovered that these wires are hooked up incorrectly for where they go and input to the controller. Once we swapped them around, we basically had to swap the green and the red and now it works correctly, but these were hooked up incorrectly. All about to do the relearn here in a second. All right, so now that we've got the controller in place, I'll uh, add a Bluetooth, change the sensors out, fix that sensor that was wired improperly. Now we have to do a relearn for the motor. So that'll pair the motor with the controller. Basically what you do is you hold down each foot pad and then you hold the power button. It'll beep and then it'll beep three times and you let go. controller learning this motor and pairing itself. Now we should be able to ride it.